to the point where I have done all the cutting and you know modding that I'm going to do on the case. I did the mounts for the radiator and I cut out all this area and I did my bracket for the power supply. I cut off this little thing that's for it's like a little security alarm thing I think for when people open the case. I put some tape on the backside IO panel and I did all my holes and stuff, my grinding for the reservoir and the disk drive and all that stuff to fit. Now I'm starting to scuff up the metal and on all the big areas I'm just using this sponge which is enough to you know, get a good get a good scuff going. See that? And when I do the big areas I'll switch to this and my Dremel and I'm just going to try to do my best to you know get in all these little cracks and stuff and scuff it up really good and um, then I'll probably, well not probably, I'm going to, I'm going to do a lacquer thinner wash make sure all the oils are stripped off and then I'll um, wash it you know with some soap and water after it dries and then I'm going to hit it with this primer. I don't really like Rust-Oleum products, but I was at Home Depot and that's what they sell. I didn't want to go over to Lowe's and get Valspar. I, I prefer Valspar as a brand, but I figured this was good. It gets good reviews online. And I will prime it with this. And then I'm going to hit it with white. And everything is going to be white. This is going to be a, a white build. And I'm not sure what color I'm going to do the fluid, but I'll probably do it green fluid because it'll match the green motherboard and the green front I.O. lights that Dells have. So it's kind of be, going to be a green and white build. It's really easy on YouTube to just grab a computer and paint it and have it look nice for you know the 10 minute video that you have and stuff and then you start handling and stuff and it scratches and peels off or whatever and I'm just uh, I want it to s stick you know I don't want it to peel I don't want it to scratch as much as possible it's a little bit of a you know process but I already sanded this down a little bit I gotta get this uh, yeah, it's still kinda too deep to cover so I'm gonna have to sand that out sand that one out I took off the feet I took off uh, the little pull handle that's gonna stay black um, the only thing I couldn't get off were these little black pieces I just couldn't really figure out how those things are latched on there I think they were actually this whole thing is kinda put on during manufacturing so I'm just gonna maybe put a little bit of tape on these tips right here just to keep those black we're going to finish sanding it like I said this, this sponge does a pretty darn good job then we're going to paint it and then after that the motherboard's going back in and um, you know, we're going to start building this thing I got all the parts got everything laid out we're ready to go so after doing a little more research I decided not to use lacquer thinner to wipe this down it doesn't have like a oily surface or anything like that I mean I just don't want to leave behind residue from uh, like mineral spirits or lacquer thinner and stuff like that so what I did was just I'm wearing a soft cotton glove to handle it and I'm just gonna um, wipe it down with a brush and a microfiber and just prime it. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. I don't if it I mean it is what it is. I'm not gonna go buy, you know, a forty dollar uh cleaner or whatever just you know to clean the metal. I think it'll be fine. I roughed it up pretty good. I didn't use that little um rotary brush because <laughs> it seemed like it was kind of polishing the metal <laughs> instead of scratching it up so I just um, got some fine grit sandpaper 
and see I sanded that scratch out. There's another scratch right there, I sanded out. And it looks like it's pretty clean. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime it and paint it. I have painted the chassis. It's all white. I now remember why I hate Rust-Oleum products so much. It has been like three days and it's still just a tiny bit soft. It's not sticky, it just doesn't feel like a hard you know, paint coating should. It's dry, it's just not as nice as I had hoped it would be. I need to decide whether or not I need the pump a little bit lower. I might be chopping out this chunk of metal right here so the pump can lay just that much close, like further down. It might be more work than it's worth, but I'm gonna, I have to put the components back in to see exactly where we're at. And another thing is, I think I'm going to be chopping a hole right here and adding a little 60 millimeter fan on the inside. So I can, um, I'm gonna rewire the, the um, plug so it can plug into the CPU port on the motherboard so I don't get an error on boot. And then I can use that also as a air intake.